OK, let's have a look at putting together a basic mold tool with a side core. So here I have a hole in the side of my part and I have a, another hole in the middle. So I know the hole on the side is going to cause some issues when I put together the part. So let's start by creating a parting line. I've already selected the parting line option. I've selected the base face and I'm going to perform a draft analysis. So my draft analysis tells me that everything is red or green, red being negative, green being positive draft to one degree, apart from this, this hole here, which I got a blue colouring. Now I need to analyse this from a different direction. So I pick the right plane, do a draft analysis again, and because this is a side core section, everything's gone green. See, I pre-prepped this hole, put some draft on it. So from the right plane, it will be fine. But we need to now switch this back to our base plane. Otherwise, if we selected OK, um, everything would go wrong after this. We need to have the right parting line selected. So the face is our parting line. And you can see the outline now showing where our parting line is on our plastic part. So go into the shut off face surfaces option and we've already have both faces selected. So we've got our circle and our loop both selected. We're basically going to close off these faces to produce the core and cavity. So the loop is tangent. Sorry, the Pill shape is tangent, the circle is contact. And we've selected the option, and you can see I have two surfaces made. So this is my core in green, and in red, this is my cavity. And I have the indents to show where the holes are going to be placed. So these are just two reference surfaces so far to help me produce my core and cavity from using the parting line and shut off surfaces option. So now into the parting surfaces option, we need to go next. So it's pre-selected our parting line, which we've already pre-built. We're perpendicular to the pull and we've changed the pulling surface extrusion to one mil and with a smoothing of 0.5. So here is an extra surface in grey that we've, we've made from the parting surface. We need to go into the tooling split now, but we can't really. We need to offset a face. So let's go into features, reference geometry, create a plane offset a plane from our split line and that's offset by 3 mil. Okay, let me just show you we're offset here. Let's get rid of the perspective view. Okay, so we're offset by 3 mil. Now from here I can go back to mold tools, tooling split, not parting lines, over to tooling split. Select this option and we need to draw a box surrounding our part for molding. So let's put a box around our part, make sure it clears the flange we've made in grey because it has to encompass the part. So let's just add some geometry really quickly just just to 
get some control on this unrestrained, unconstrained sketch. So let's there we go. We can use the axis to help define our geometry. Don't need that one. Let's get the one at the base. Make all these equal. Yep. Make the last one equal. Okay, so we've got our surrounding box. Okay, right. So we're ready to progress. Okay, so um, with what we've put, the geometry we've put together, the core cavity and parting surface, you can see on the left hand side have been pre populated. The block is extruding in the single arrow 5mm in the double arrow direction 15mm, which is actually covering the part. You can, you can extend these if you like. Um, you probably would in reality to allow for um, cooling but I'm for this tutorial I'm going to leave them as they are and we need to select the interlock surface because that creates a little upstand that we need to extrude from so we've got our blocks let's change the colors quickly so they look more more than just blocks And let's remove one of them so you can see the core. And this is the core part of our tool. And if I bring back the, in fact, let's not bring anything back. Let's go straight into sketching our um, side core which is the point of this tutorial so let's go straight in sketch and start building some sketch geometry for the basis of our side core so this part that's causing causing issues we can't we can't get to it from our core or our cavity so we need to come in from the side as well and we're just going to build up the geometry for the core extrusion into the side of the part. Okay, so here's some geometry and we're going to move this in from the edge and we're going to match up to our core. So back into the mold tools toolbar, select the core option, we've already got the sketch checked. Okay, so we just need to change the geometry around we need to go in the other we need to go towards our core we need to go up to next it can be quite tricky getting this right you can add some draft i'm not going to in this instance but you can you can play with draft here or you could add draft to specific faces later on after we've completed this operation. 
So, okay, so rebuild with errors uh, is probably because I've selected the wrong face or wrong or wrong solid. So let's have a look. Have I got the right solid? Solid being the core or the cavity. We can just go into our solid bodies at the top. Select the alternative. Just realign everything. Okay, so up to next basically takes us to the extrusion. Okay, so it's worked this time. So we had basically we had the body, the wrong body. So we wanted to match up to our cavity, not our core. So the core being what's on screen now. Let's flip it around, show the cavity. You can see we've etched a hole in the part. But not only have we created a hole in the part, we've also created our core. So first of all, you can see here's the part now in red with our cavity in yellow. And I can bring back the core as well. Let's bring it into view. It's yellow. Let's change the color. And you can see the side core in green that matches up to the hole on the side of the part. So we've got both holes covered. So a circle in the middle of the part covered by a regular cavity and the side hole covered by a side core. Let's hide this off so you can see the side core on its own. And if we bring back the core, you can see how it lays up along the core as well. And it all fits. Fits together. Just change the cover, the actual part to differentiate because everything looks red at the moment. So just to show you that the original part being molded is actually still part of this model. Bring it back to its original color. So the part, there's the part. So that's it. That's how to mold or how to model in SolidWorks the core, cavity, and side core for a basic part.